Today, we'll learn about threat intelligence in Microsoft Sentinel. The purpose is simple. We feed indicators of compromise or IUCs into the data stream so Sentinel can query this data and trigger incidents based on them. We can feed the IOCs via Content Hub, which I will demonstrate, or directly upload them via CSV or JSON. There are other options, like integration with all involved, but today we'll focus on the more cost-effective options provided by Microsoft. First, find the Threat Intelligence Connector in the Content Hub, install it, and click on Manage to see the list of installed items. We are specifically interested in the MS Defender Threat Intelligence Connector. Click on it to navigate to the Data Connector page and then click Open Connector page. To start importing indicators, select one of the presented options. I recommend using data no older than one month to reduce false positive, as some IP addresses may still be flagged as IOCs even though they are clean. Once selected, click Connect to start populating the Threat Intelligence table with IOCs. From here, we can explore each indicator to see the metadata like values, STIX ID, which is a unique identifier, description, source, and much more. We can also add custom indicators if needed, which is useful for adding IP addresses or URLs recently flagged in the news or by your SOC team. In the creation panel, Fill in the necessary information like the IP address, provide description and tags for easy identification later, and then adjust the confidence score. 100 means that you are certain it is malicious. You can search and delete indicators if they are outdated or no longer needed. Run a search, find the IOCs you added, and remove it from the list. The list will update automatically. Although we have IOCs in place, we still need analytic rules in Sentinel to check for those indicators in your environment. Fortunately, we have predefined templates available. Go to the analytic rules in Sentinel and in the rule templates, look for threat intelligence. You will find a list of analytic rules covering critical parts of your environment like email sign-in logs, user sign-in logs, or firewall events. I will create a rule using the TI map email entity to sign in logs template. The analytic rule wizard is already predefined, but you can customize the settings such as changing the severity to high. In the rule logic section, you can see the KQL structure for the analytic rule. Run a simulation to check for results based on your environment data. You can also view query results in the table structure. If there are no results, that's a good news. Next, we have query scheduling. I advise leaving the settings as they are set up by Microsoft analysts. However, I recommend setting up alert grouping to avoid spamming with the same alert repeatedly allowing incidents to be investigated under a single incident. Your SOC team will appreciate this. In the automated response, you can set up actions like locking or resetting a user account if a successful login is made from an IP listed in the threat intelligence table. We'll explore this further in the future videos. Once you are happy with the analytic rule, save it. It will run every hour and bring you the results. Congratulations! You now know how to use Threat Intelligence in Microsoft Sentinel. Happy hunting!